What else is going on? We got uh, Kiefer Sutherland going to jail for 48 days. They're pretty, uh, they're getting real strict with these celebrities and jailing them for the Dewey's. It used to be nothing. So celebrities would get Dewey's all the time. Regular civvies would get Dewey's, uh, Dewey's and uh, you, know, you really had to screw up to see any jail time from, from a Dewey. You either had a hit and run or uh, like multiple, and I don't mean two, I mean, you know, five, six of them. No, they're not screwing around. No. They throw you right in the uh, the old clink. Example. You know he'll break out, though. Oh, well, yes. Travis, who's just a huge 24 fan. Is he? Yeah. Yes, he is. He's uh, convinced that uh, he'll break out of prison if he's needed. And I just uh, had to give him the brutal truth that he'll probably get raped in prison. <laughs> and uh, you'll never look at him the same way again. He's going to wear a, a Donald Sutherland mask as he does it. <laughs> yeah, like it's his old man. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a second. Here's the thing. The, uh, like the on Mike Rich. To, the one girl went to jail for a day. How about you put headphones on? Oh, yeah. Because it hurts my ears. Uh, went to jail for one day. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many times was he drunk driving to go for 48 days? I mean, like you said, five times when we grew well, up. Well, yeah. If you follow the story, uh, he's been a bad boy on numerous occasions. Yeah. They're finally slapping him. But uh, uh, what kind of arrests has he, has he had? I, I thought it was only two Dewey's. Not only, but. I thought it was three. I thought this was the third. Yeah. Uh, well, here's Travis the, here's is the Kiefer Sutherland expert, the expert, and, and he likes Kiefer's the, feet. And also the last fan of yes. uh, 24 still watching. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I gave up on that show after the first season. I thought the first season was terrific. It was <laughs> it was my favorite show back in the day, but I didn't need to go back for a second season. What's the IQ? What's the title? The IQ of the, the people that are watching still? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what what is going on with uh, Jack Bauer? No, I think I think you're right. He's only been arrested like twice, but this one violated his probation ah. from the last one. Yeah, but so he also they, hold on. He mm. also tackled a Christmas tree. Drink. Oh yeah, and tackled he burned the, his action figure. Burned his action yeah. figure. He he tackled a Christmas tree. What else did he do? There was a picture that I found last week where he's just sitting in a bar with no pants on for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take my pants off. Oh, uh, numerous uh, offenses oh, okay. of being a dope. You know he's probably just one of those real bad drunks. That uh, there, there are drunks that are just really bad at it. Because he'll if if you're taking your pants off to sit in the chair uh, at a bar and just sit there with your pants off, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, here's the thing: it's, you're so alcohol. Like you could be so rich and so famous, but the disease of alcoholism is not prejudice. From Park disease. Avenue. To park bench. That's what um, they say. Oh, look at from, him! From from yeah. All right. From yeah. <laughs> get off! Get off your twelfth step. <laughs> okay. He is one of the most famous people in the world. He's got is more he? money, but yet he's got to fight that disease of addiction. Maybe it's not a disease. Maybe he's just when oh, really? he drinks. Yeah, you know, he's an ass. That's the disease. Yeah. Yeah. Tackling a Christmas tree <laughs> and burning your own action figure. You know how long it takes to get an action figure? If, in yeah. But it was the prototype, too. So they had to go back and actually make it all over again. They delayed it by a year. <laughs> they gave him the prototype <laughs> of the action figure and he burnt it. They should just put it out as a burn. A burn yeah, just figure. a burnt up Jack Bauer. But show me. Show me someone that uh, gets drunk and does normal stuff, though, Rich. Yeah. So show me a guy that gets really drunk and decides he needs to do algebra. It's not like every no, day I the mean, guy was getting arrested. When you get drunk, you no, do but, stupid no. things. Yeah. You're saying it's not every day he got arrested. The days he, That's the days he got caught. But the other days he didn't get... You, Maybe he you, was you, fine. What are his odds that he only drinks... The days he only drinks, he gets, gets arrested. So you know he's drinking every other day, too. Let me tell you something. When I get hammered... Uh -huh. I get really hammered. You, I'm a happy, fun drunk. You might even I'm, get so drunk you'll ask a 17-year-old girl for her phone number. When when was that? At, at my daughter at the. Uh, <laughs> oh, when I was trying to pick up Rich's daughter. That was that was more to annoy you than to actually get your daughter's phone number. Although I must say, it wasn't totally just to get at you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, his daughters are very it, cute. It, it got a bit creepy. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that was after the PNC show, I right? I felt so dirty. I had to go to a, uh, some type of center and just get. Talk I to think people. I think your daughters liked me. 
They like that's what most alcoholics did when they drunk. <laughs> Shut up. And was uh, trying to get them to go on a shopping spree and yeah, on vacation with them. I was like, come on, I'll, I'll, I'll my, take you shopping. And, and there was uh, Ava Braun outfits. And, yeah. and, and, and part of it was dead serious. And the best part about that, Rich Voss was sitting next to me and he was trying to figure out. Like where his position would be in the Opie and Anthony show if he punched Anthony in the face. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I, and 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 Ant knew that, so Ant was pushing further and further, trying to get phone me. numbers and, and it stuff. It was so to and get Voss, rich pissed. Voss was just livid, hot under the collar. <laughs> he was livid, and I was. It was really interesting to see how far Anthony could take it before Rich would actually do what he was supposed to do and be a father. But Which he is decided pun- punch me in the head. Decided oh, I, his exposure I, I, on the Opie and Anthony show was much more important no, than the well actual, than the welfare of his two hot. Daughters. Well, first of all, I went, so he did I walked, nothing. No, you're a hundred percent wrong. I walked <laughs> over to my daughter, and I ripped up some papers, and I said, "Don't talk to him again." All right, because I can't change how he acts. I can only change how my daughter reacts. <laughs> okay, so I did do what a parent was supposed to do. All right, I can't go after every perp on this planet. All right, all I can do is perp, perp? Yeah. or perv. Perp, perpetrator. Okay, I grew up in the streets. It's called perpetrator. I Here's would say thing. perv. Or perv, yeah, okay. So I hot did young daughters. I'm thinking perv. Like you wouldn't want your daughter privy to the Kumi of Fortune. First of all, that fortune hasn't left the house, okay? What's he going to do, get video games? Yes. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? Every, every she's video game she's very young. Played. She I mean, probably enjoys them. Let her sit on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> as right. long as she doesn't pick her nose and wipe it in, in my cushions. She's that age. <laughs> all right, well, so Kiefer's going away for 48 days. Uh, I got Led yeah. Bell yelling at me saying 24 is a great show. I loved it. It's the first season show. I loved. I couldn't be bothered with the second season. How long is he going? Uh, 48. Oh, 48. Yeah. I, I thought if they sent him for 24 days, it would have been like a well, kind of tie-in for I, the show. I, I think the judge wasn't brave enough, but you know, 48 is is not is 224. 224s. Which is very nice. That's a long time. Wait, let me time. explain to the dummies out there. Yeah, see, if you take two and you times it by 24, the name of Kiefer Sutherland's uh, uh, hit TV show, that's 48. Yeah. He's going to jail for 48 days. That would be two days. seasons of twenty four. Dude, that is a long no, time it? to be in jail if you're if you're a, especially if you're a celebrity. It would be forty eight seasons of twenty four because twenty four is a one day season. It would be forty eight seasons. Oh boy! Do you understand? Could you call in he's with that, go- Rich? No, he's not. Be one of our no, callers you today. He's you know not going to jail for forty eight hours, which would be two seasons. He's going for 48 days, which is 48 seasons. We mean real days, though. Eh, he's probably right. Yeah, I know. I'm Technically, right. Probably I'm right. Eh, I worked how I said it, though, too. And it's weeks. But you're kind of right, I guess. It's on once a week. kind of sucks when you have something on me, finally, after <laughs> oh, eight <really>? years. <laughs> wow, one for you, 2,842 for me. Oh, okay, sore loser. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I, I wanted a perfect you. record. <laughs> I couldn't take it in jail for like a day. I could probably go a day. Like, you know, the, the, the voyeur bus people when they all got arrested, a little over a day. That I could probably take. But if they told me, like, oh, you, you're you going away for like 50 days or that would really get me. I can't imagine years where they say uh, 10 to 15 years. What would get to you, though? The thought that you're in locked up in prison for that amount of time and 50 days in jail. But what would be the thing that got you? Uh, <laughs> the being. Wow. Yeah, the the maybe the the rape. Right. The, uh, no, just the. The being confined like that and then being with uh, uh, nasty elements, constantly having to be on your guard. Wait a minute. This is like how I am at home. (laughs) Would it be? Constantly on my guard. I'm confined. Would it be? I just don't have any nasty elements. Would it be the germs that get to you? No, no, not at all. I don't care about the germs or anything. The uh, horrible sleeping conditions? Uh, No, no, even that. What if you're in a cell by yourself for 50 days? Easier? Uh, That would be easier. Yes. Obviously. Easier. I would want to it? be like in isolation. Leave me completely alone. Fifty days, I'd be fine in isolation. I yeah, believe me. I I would probably be completely fine in in solitary confinement for like an entire stretch. I've got a great imagination. No, you. I'll just sit there and go somewhere mind. else. Yeah. Would in you, my head. Would you be more scared of getting beat up or getting uh, raped? What would you be more? What scared? the hell do you think? 
a black eye, you can walk around in the uh, cafeteria and just take a seat. Uh, the other thing, you, you can't even take a seat. <laughs> you yeah. just kind of, you're sitting on the edge of the bench. When you walk in, it's laughing. Like timid and <laughs> Someone thinks you sat in jello. <laughs> I was reading on one of the prison websites. You that... go to prison websites? Why? Why do you, why do you go to prison websites? Oh, Damn. Stories, rape stories, and stuff on prison websites. Why? Hold on. Wow. No, no, you can't just casually go, uh, that's like saying I was, uh, oh, I went to eBay and. Prison website. Yeah, someone told me about this link about prison something. Doc, I don't know what it is, but it tells you all these prison stories about guys. One of your fetishes is uh, prison rape stories, <laughs> no. right? Yeah. No, I, 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 prisons, when you drive past a prison, you got to stop and look. They're like the. The creepiest, most oh yeah, you do you do look at the barbed wire in the yard yeah. and go like, wow man, I don't that's know a the person alive deal. that wouldn't take a look as they're driving by a prison, but it, that you went from that to you're hanging out on prison websites, I'm not, reading I'm, rape stories, reading rape stories. That's a little different than hey, honey, uh, wow, look, that's uh, Rikers. So what was the hottest one you read, Rich? Well, what they did say is <laughs> yeah, yeah, going, yeah. Which the, which one the hot? Which one really got you <laughs> off? Story uh, about uh, man on man. Action well, in the shower. One guy said, "When you go in, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna be a punk, just pick one guy and take care of that one guy, so they don't all get and hope it's yeah, that right. old gag." And I guess the people in prison haven't figured that one out yet. Yeah, what I like the old going? gag. Yeah, dude, here's what you got to do: you find the biggest guy in prison, you walk up to him and just punch him in the face. Yeah, that's not gonna no. give you a you'll get killed, and and you'll, you'll give you absolutely a... get killed. In a second. Because first of all, your punch probably ain't going to do anything to this huge prison guy. And uh, even no, you think it's just going to... They're going to laugh at you like, oh, insane. God, another dope that uh, you know believes in that old wise tale. All right, I'm, uh, I'm here. I just want everybody to realize I'm in this jerk now. <laughs> That's me screaming. <laughs> <laughs> well. Get grabbed by the throat. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, you think you're so tough. You think... What? What? Why isn't he falling down? This is the biggest guy. <laughs> okay. Get off my foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I hit you. Uh, what? Tonight? Be in the laundry room? <laughs> Would you go 50 days without taking a shower? If you... uh, see, that's another thing. I don't shower in front of guys. Never have. Uh, all through school, gym class, all that crap, uh, where the gym teacher was always a little too enthusiastic. It's like, what are you doing? You're not showering, Kumia? Don't you understand? You got to go to class there as a day. It's like, I didn't work up a sweat in gym class. I didn't do anything in gym class. Yeah. So why do I have to shower? And this gym teacher would love, like, all his jocks getting in the steamy shower. And he'd look in and go, how you guys doing in there? It's like, what the... How are they doing? They're, we're not. They need doing help it. with their back. Hey, it, coach, could you help me with yeah. my back? We're not doing well, coach. Like, who gives a crap if you're a little smelly during history class? It's worth it. I'd go fifty days, <laughs> probably, dude, I was, washing my face. Do they give you those paper towels that uh, rip your skin off you when you dry? I I can only imagine they're not comfy towels in prison. Dude, I was an athlete growing up, and I developed way late. It's 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 it's. it's Mortifying. <laughs> I'm still waiting to do It's what? mortifying to be in that situation. You're just just trying to hide. There was a what kid. Little you got. Then Did you there got, was a kid in then, school. Then you got like the you know the the star quarterback that <laughs> was was shaving since he was 12. <laughs> right next to you, you're just like, oh god. He's a why? full, a complete man. <laughs> why do I have to be in this situation? There's some kid in Not school a that have dude a hair on my body had, yet. He had and I'm, and I'm grown up next to a gorilla, <laughs> just so I don't smell in history class. Great, thanks, coach. He loved to shower after gym class, and this kid hadn't like grown up, but he liked to you know take showers after gym class, and everyone made fun of him because it was like it was like he was a second grader in you know what we were in seventh grade, I guess something like that. And he would walk into the shower, and everybody's just like, oh, Jesus, look at <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> it's probably in porno now. <laughs> this looks like a little half a thumb. It was just, it was yeah. the worst. I, I was that guy. Was... My whole life, I thought I had a, uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, I had a, uh, you know, 
<laughs> but you're doing all right. But then finally, you know, puberty hit, and the first time a woman told me that, well, hmm. it's like really, I had no idea because oh. my whole life I, uh, you know, was, had, uh, was mocked. Yeah, well, we'll talk about this at nine o'clock. <laughs> it's, uh... Uh, it wasn't that I was mocked. It wasn't like I was like prancing around showing off what I had. But I just knew. I was. I. I, I look like. Uh, yeah, like you didn't. I was like it was plywood, and <laughs> but I remember this kid Arthur. He was worse. And when they would pick on me, I would point to Arthur and take the attention off. Oh, of good. <laughs> go. What about Arthur? It works. I would just. I would just find the shower all the way in the corner. Wouldn't shower. I, I would get the strategic shower. That Would had to be in the corner because then you could like just face the corner with your nothingness. But and if like, I was in prison, in prison, like you walk in, shower. like it's tough enough to fight with clothes on. Yeah, how are you well, going to well, fight with no gonna, clothes on? No, clothes you're just completely on. vulnerable to anything that can punch you there. Right. An uppercut to that area, you're done. They could just ugh, hey, do whatever they want. What is the website where you get your hot uh, prison? Your hot stories, prison bro. stories. Rich, can you remember, and, and we'll give the website out after the no, break? It, no, uh, prison stories, prisonstories dot com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was prisonstories dot com. And you really uh, get into uh, these, huh? Hey, Rock, look at that website and give us a good one for uh, after the yeah, break. Yeah, after we, the we break. need a good story. Uh, before we go to break, we got to remind you about. The, oh God, look the, at the just the front page. It's some guy who looks like he's nude, handcuffed. <laughs> Jesus, Rich, Rich, what are you doing? Rich? Wait, why would you go there? <laughs> I know, I understand. All of a sudden, like, could you get tired of reading whack bag and you just go? There? Well, going to, going from whack bag to this is a kind of a big so, jump. Yeah, this is a jump That's over something. over a river. There, I, it was my first day. I thought everything would go okay. I met someone on the bus. I was in the laundry room. He seemed like a big enough guy that could take care of himself. I thought we were friends. Well, when we met in the laundry room. <laughs> All right, listen. We're running late. Oh, we'll continue. Shut up. Oh, yeah. I want to, I want to try to pick the, the story Rich found the hottest. Yeah. Tell us which one you found really hot, okay? And don't lie. Well, no. Is it when one of the lousy screws were transferring an inmate to another cell and took a little detour? On the way, a hot uh, story from PrisonStories.com, courtesy of Rich Voss. <laughs> oh, okay, well, they picked out a hot prison rape story. Oh. But it's not, uh, it's not FM friendly. No? Well, maybe we'll have to... Um... What if we, like, substitute uh, a word or something? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that. All right. Mm. Give me a word. That's innocent enough. Turtles? Uh, Look at this guy. One of the times I was... Uh, I got no help afterwards. A fellow inmate came up to me in the shower and told me to... His turtle. <laughs> and when I said no, he punched me in the gut and made me get down on my... Knees and give him... <laughs> it was very degrading, and when I told the proper authorities at the prison, they told me not to be a tattletale, and then it got back to the inmate that I told, and he stabbed me and said if I make eye contact with him again, he would kill me the first chance he got. It was so scary getting a death threat by someone who was really serious about it. I'm going to die soon, and there's no way getting around it. I don't think I'll ever see the light of day again. I will die in prison, and I'm sure of it. Wait, this know, is the crap you're reading, here's Rich. The thing. No, it's great about this story. Was, I was scared of getting a death threat, but you already got stabbed. <laughs> like, like, the stabbing. Oh, man. Okay, hey, don't worry about the stabbing, but please don't threaten to kill me. Right. Can we get another hot rape story? Prison rape story in honor of Rich Voss? Look at him. Huh? How could he not get. Look at this guy. This guy would get raped at the library. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. no. Why would he get raped at the library? What, the nicest, or the library? Uh, what? How'd you say it? Library. What did they say? told him Wait, not he, to be a tattletale. Even making funny. How do you say it? Library. Library. Whatever. The library. Uh, and not to be a tattletale. You don't snitch in prison. That's the first thing. Snitches get. They get <laughs> stitches. Dang. Snitches, snitches get idiots. Oh my god, they get snitches get stitches right okay, there. Good. Where you they gotta go to lay on your Seuss belly for a while. Get stitches. Okay. 
<laughs> Snickers yeah. with stitches. Huh. Weird. Well, they get stitches. the stitches because they got the shank. They got shanked. Okay. Huh. But, but the saying's been around forever that snitches get, and you stitches. answered shanked. Okay, because, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to well. play your rhyme game. That might be the next contest. Yeah, because I'm the only one that, that, that knew that. Okay. I never heard that. There's probably one other dummy out there. This was from Rikers, so he's a local guy if you want to look him up. Hey, yeah, Rich. Rich. Maybe you can hang outside the prison and hope to be yeah. noticed. Maybe you can wear your short shorts. <laughs> he could give you a little more detail about what happened in the, uh, but look the shower. Maybe, maybe he'll give you a little extra if you wear those short shorts like you used to uh, back in the day. Look with at his a mouth, drug though. dealer. I mean, come on. That's the kind of mouth you... Uh, uh, that guy's n First of all, this guy's nothing but a creep. I know. Look at yeah. him. All right, we got to do morning show bit of the day as we get more uh, more of those hot uh, prison rape stories. Uh, you want another hot prison rape story there, Rich? <laughs> these are great stories. I mean, it just makes you feel like you're there. Well, why would you why? go to the website? Yeah, yeah, and read I don't these understand things. why you would why you would go there. Oh, I see a lot of highlight in oh, this boy. one. Are you ready, Rich? All right, <laughs> let me get just my for you, buddy. Let me get my beep ready. Predators hmm. in prison are after more than just money. It satisfies some of their needs, but not all. When an inmate has a lot of time behind them, the need for sexual release and satisfaction becomes unbearable. Traditional methods of self-whatever uh, no longer are enough. Engaging in a sexual act is a violation of prison rules. But even the most gung-ho officer realized the need for... Uh, gratification. And the need to keep the peace. This is not being said that they condone it, but they might not make a serious effort to catch inmates doing it. The involved inmates don't want to get caught, which may result in separation from one, one another. They will always do it at a time when they know that the officers are occupied with another duty, mm -hmm. and they will usually post a sentry to watch for the officer. This person is called a hawk or a jigger. <laughs> a hawk or a jigger is uh, what they call these predators? No, it's the, oh, the lookout. The lookout. Oh, the lookout. Well, yeah, you got to have like vision like a hawk. Yeah, they are often paid in some way for this service. The act of watching and warning is called hawking the man. <laughs> How do you get that job as a hawk in prison? I don't know, know, Rich. Why, you want it? <laughs> Why, instead of getting ready, hey, it well, does I'll sound be your like, lookout. Oh, you it does sound like a sexy job. You get a little cash and you get to hey, see some cool like, stuff, huh, Rich? And you can't, well, no, you just keep lookout. <laughs> I just want to say, guys, before you rate me, I have great eyes, and I can see the uh, Flatfoot coming. I thought they flatfoot? Oh, you call him Flatfoot? Yeah. All right. Obviously, my advice to the average inmate is to avoid the daddies, the punks, and the homosexuals altogether. Avoidance is not all there is to it. A sexual predator will always victimize the weak. A person who puts up a ferocious fight every time... He is threatened is not a good prospect. All right, so you gotta like just duke it out, no matter how bad you get beat. So in this, in your case, Rich, you gotta fight like and make believe you're really not into uh, what's going on. A person who appears to have loyal friends that stick together consistently is also a poor prospect. Going to prison officials for protection should be considered based on the attitude and philosophies of that particular prison. While working at a maximum custody prison, I heard a correctional lieutenant tell an inmate who asked for protection, you have two choices, get on your knees or jump the fence because we are not going to protect you. The inmate didn't jump the fence. Oh, <laughs> boy. I guess he did the first option. Yeah. Prison officials take this type of attitude only when the administration allows it. I would say that this attitude is the exception and not the rule in today's prisons. After all, correctional officers are sworn to protect inmates. It should also be noted that sexual transmitted diseases are of real consideration for inmates. Uh, blah, blahs are sometimes allowed in prison, but not always. That would be protection uh, from diseases. If an inmate was to contra uh, contra contract, contract AIDS after being turned out, he might consider it poetic justice to spread it around. Most prison medical departments are prohibited from making a public knowledge that an inmate is HIV positive. However, the good ones will drop a hint of some kind to correctional staff. The inmates seldom become aware of it, though. Oh. That's not a good... More informational than uh, yeah. hot and sexy. Yeah, yeah. Rich is looking that? for hot and sexy. Rich is all uh, bored with that one. Yeah, let's... Not sexy. Oh, well, he's, he's coming right back in. All right, let's go to Harry in Memphis. Do you guys watch Lockdown? Tell us about the discount, Harry. <laughs> what's up, Harry? Morning, boys. Linger longer. Yeah, what's up? Hey, I got a good one for you. I had to do uh, a 15-year bit in Ohio, and uh, I was coming in off the yard one day. And an inmate asked me to get uh, this extremely large black dude out of his cell. So I said, okay, I'll go and get him. 
So as I go up to knock on the door, I look in the window, and he's just giving it to this little old white guy. Well, I turn around to walk off, and I hear this god-awful scream. So I thought that something bad had just happened, and when I turn around and look back in the cell, it did. The little white dude had pooped all over the black dude. <laughs> well, I... I don't think that made it through. <laughs> I, I doubt that made it through, but... You were there for 15 Eesh. years? I, uh, uh, I was sentenced 15 years, and yeah. I only ended up doing five. Five were you like... Well, the grand you? finale of your story didn't make the radio, unfortunately, but... Uh, no. But uh, let's, let's just say the perpetrator, the the rapist, yeah, uh, got um, because of I guess the guy that uh, he was doing this to, we got a little nervous during this, <laughs> yeah, uh, to say the least. That um, he uh, left him uh, his just desserts, let's say. Yeah, he he uh, he, he, ma he he made a mess of the joint. Yeah, aren't, aren't uh, white dudes supposed to stick up? Isn't a black guy not allowed to do that to a white guy in prison? Oh well, yeah, there's rules, Rich. Wait, no, wait, there is, it, Rich, why don't you go into a prison no. and do an expose? Yeah. Day? No, I'm you asking you. You can wear your I'm short shorts and, uh, and and write a, a tell-all book of what happens in prison. Isn't that true that, that like, he's not allowed to do that without permission or something from, like, the uh, white gangs or the or uh, the Brotherhood or something, right? It's not like that at all. I mean, prison ain't what you what everybody says it is. I mean, it's, it's like a big... Uh, club with, it's, that's fenced in. It's like a big college campus. You come and go as you please. You just have to be in your cell at count time. And mm -hmm. if that's your preference, that's your preference. I mean, whites, blacks, they basically bang anybody they want. I would ask uh, boom, boom, or yum, yum. Boom, boom, or yum, yum. That's what I would say. Yeah. Boom, boom, or yum, yum. All right, Harry, thank you. All right, bud. Yep. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I know it's century. Not Wait, century. It's century. It's kind of similar, what? though, isn't it? Someone's making fun of me because I said... A century? Century. Century. It's oh. Instead of century? I didn't even notice. I was That's waiting kinda... for the hot, sexy parts. Look, I know I... It never uh, materialized. My reading leaves a... Uh... A bit to be uh, desire there, but uh, but uh, that's a close one. Come on, I don't mind what somebody S E N T R Y. Yeah, I made it sound like century. The twentieth century. century. It's real close, isn't it? The twentieth century. How would you say century? S E N T R Y. I would say yeah. If a guard is a, a century, and then a hundred years is a century. It's really close. It is close, but if you're English, it's century. Century. That a hundred years is a century. Which yes, a century. Just like the but other. they also say aluminium. Hey, you want to read? Which is stupid. I don't know if yes. we can read this one. This one's way too hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get the beep. Finally. Do you want to read this one, Ant? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me read it. Ah. Uh, wow. Yeah, we got to change some words, though, man. Yeah, I can't just beep it. All right. Get ready with the beep. All right. When an inmate is forcibly by a group of men, usually another uninvolved inmate will offer the inmate protection from gang, but it carries a price. The inmate must now have... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me get my script. Oh, okay. So I can uh, read along. The um, inmate... Can't you, like, be a little more creative with the beeps, by the way? I was trying, but I didn't have the uh, things, yeah. Miserably, another involved inmate will offer the... Inmate protection from gang, but okay, okay. There you go. I'm reading now. All right, but it carries a price. The inmate must now have with the protector. As bad as this sounds, it's better than being. The inmate has the option of checking off. That is asking prison staff for protection. This too carries a price. Prison officials often ask the inmate to identify and testify against his attackers. At this point, the inmate is labeled a snitch and his life is in further danger. This situation requires that the inmate be segregated for protection or moved repeatedly to other prisons farther and farther from home. The inmates have a communication system that is unbelievable, so sooner or later the inmate will be found out. As a result, the inmate sometimes chooses the protection route. Mm. The inmate providing the protection is called the daddy, and the protected inmate is called a punk or a blank boy. Yes, yeah, sorry. A uh, boy. Uh, it's, it would actually, if uh, you wanted to say that uh, clean, you could call him a rooster boy. A rooster boy. The daddy yeah. may even fall in love with the punk. Aww. Or he may grow tired of him and sell him or trade him to another inmate. He may even rent his services out to others for free. Oof. For a fee, I mean. Uh, because an inmate has has with another of the same, he is not necessarily a 
homosexual, although he may begin to enjoy it and become one. This procedure is uh, called being turned out. Uh, it is uh, my belief that to be turned out, the individual already had some <laughs> homosexual tendencies oh. prior to being subjected to this situation. Another method of obtaining uh, is through seduction. It is not unlike a person seducing one of the opposite sex. The inmate is friendly, attentive, and protective over his victim. Hmm. It may take months to get the victim to succumb. Wow. However, when it is done voluntarily and not by force or rear it to act into actually falling in love. What? Hmm. Well, they, yeah, they kind of... Kind of just fall in love, I guess. Right. Aww, That's what sweet, I mean. What? Sweet story. For this reason, it is never wise for an inmate to ridicule or pick on these individuals because they are protected by a strong alliance. A man can lose all control when someone does something to his family. It is the same situation when two inmates are in love. Prison officials will often arrange for two lovers to be housed together just to keep the peace. Wow. <laughs> two Lucky that almost usually have a field day in prison. After all, they are as close to a real woman that the inmates will have access to. The fact that they want to be female and are willing to act the part is very exciting to the inmates. When a new <laughs> comes into prison, there's often a power struggle that can result in violence to determine who gets him. Being a almost <laughs> in prison usually is uh, protection in itself. The inmates view them. Uh, as a woman to treat them as such. When I search Oma's uh, <laughs> lager, I almost find that it is full of goodies from the prison store, although they are not seen there, nor do they have any money sent mm -hmm. in. So uh, the gay guy goes into prison, and he's treated like a hot chick at a bar. There you go. Buying drinks, just hoping uh, that you get to uh, go out. Yeah. Have a little date. You, jeez! Oh, can you imagine getting traded for a pack of cigarettes? Or, mm. yeah, like, it, yeah, that's the that's the worst to, part of the whole thing. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's degrading. Yeah, that's my God, degrading. you traded me because see, I like the uh, I like the job this guy was doing on me, and now yeah. uh, because of a lousy pack of cigarettes, now I got to do it with this guy. No, it has nothing to do with the <laughs> Marcellus Wallace scene. In the basement of the pawn shop. Yeah, that's oh. the worst part, being traded for a pack of cigarettes. Well, here you just build a bond with your daddy. <laughs> you do the things he wants. You're the greatest, do. man. I love when you're here. Yeah. You're really a After learning about this stuff, the, the worst thing you could say is... <laughs> How yeah. much would it suck to be yeah. traded for a pack of cigarettes? Yeah, get him. Yeah, yeah, just... Mm. Mm. What was creepier? Z Zed having sex with Marcellus Wallace. Yeah. Or the guy standing there going, yeah, you yeah, get him. Get him. Just him. Yeah, yeah. I think that guy. Well, I don't know. That was That's, a creep. I think this might be a trick question. I'm not falling for it. You're not going to fall for it. They're both bad. I think the guy that was looking on was. The gimp? Just seemed creepier. What was wrong with him? Like, he would let Zed come over and then just, like. I, that's what totally I mean. Totally get psyched at watching Zed? I guess. Uh, seriously, if you, if you need me to answer the question, that guy seems way creepier. Because you think he wasn't they'd doing both, anything. They'd both get a good laugh if they just would have dragged them both in at the same time. And then he does uh, Bruce Willis. Right. And uh, the other guy, Zed, does uh, Marcellus Wallace. Well, yeah, Zed was just. He was doing it as a goof. The other guy had some severe He's issues. Like, mm, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, he was all like, yeah, get him, get him. Oh, oh. Yeah. All excited. Job, so. It was my wife listening. It's like the comic that goes into the co comedy club and goes, "Listen, I do a joke. Do you know of any gay clubs in town? Can I do a joke about gay <laughs> oh, clubs." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, is that the uh, one? Uh, yeah, that's what the comic. Goes. Uh, I do a joke never about heard gay of that. clubs. Did you, yeah. Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, I, now, does this gay club stay open past two? That's in the joke, right? <laughs> is that <laughs> something? Because I've never heard that, Rich. Right, is that something you. you use? <laughs> no, that's what a comic. If a gay oh, comic a co goes into exactly. town, exactly. So this guy used that. Like, well, my wife was was listening to Scott and Todd, <laughs> but he really was. Don't lie and put it off on your wife. It's the same. <laughs> hey, does this gay club serve food? It's in the joke, in the bit, Rich. So, what are you trying to say? Is that he's, when you would go into clubs and say... No, it's when a comic goes into clubs and he's gay, but he's he doesn't want people to know he's gay. That's exactly. Right? <laughs> and 
He would. Why are you staring at me like that? And I've never heard of a comedian asking that. Yeah. Never. If yeah. you do it in a bit, like you say, so you go, I want to do it in a bit. Let's just get it out of the way. How many cocks have you sucked? None. <laughs> never. Uh, Not really. None. I mean, for crack, we'll none. understand. I none. think you, there's, there's, you're there's, confusing him. You got to break it down. Yeah. Clipped and unclipped. Right. <laughs> right, right. Uh, how, many how many under six? How many over eight? <laughs> right. <laughs> This guy in Atlanta emails me. Oh, okay. Right, this guy so he sucked his. Oh no, no, no! Right. Let me tell you, there's one, one in Atlanta. No, no, no. <laughs> he emailed me. Let me keep track. Write it down. Oh, write it down. He emailed one me. Atlanta one Atlanta cock. <laughs> Was it during Freaknik? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell that you? That might story. have to count as two or three. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One cock in Atlanta. Yes. I never. He emails me. This guy goes, "I'm attracted to." The... Mm. So, as a comic writing back, I go, "Cut or uncut." So then he keeps writing back to me. I go, look, pal, this is never going to happen. As a comic, you know, you would well, write you go, that back. Because yeah, as that a, a comic, joke? you know, you just... You, and I go, this will never happen. You can't help just be hitting the delete the button right. and just not acknowledge it. You don't it. respond right. to someone like that who's hitting on you. you Did he write back about uncut? It. What's that? He what probably wrote back on cut. Yeah, we all need to know. I didn't like that. He's like, no, nah, it's just creepy. No, oh, if I was going to be with a guy, it'd have to be cut. <laughs> all right, so oh, yeah. All right, so you only like <laughs> sucking cock and cut, <laughs> cut <laughs> cock. Cut cock. I have a whole profile in, all, in five minutes. Listen, so he, he sucked listen, one, John, cut, cut, listen, one cut cock. One cut cock so far in week. Atlanta, and he prefers uh, cut. Never. Listen, John Douglas. Prefers, here's the thing. I've never. Cut. If he's if he if if you're fessing up to sucking one dick in Atlanta, no, yeah, I didn't suck a dick in Atlanta. Closer than First that, all, yeah. it's like <laughs> roaches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Listen, it's like roaches, right? If there's yeah, one roach around, around, you know, there's many others oh, right around. The lights the go corner. off. Sure, rich is sucking cops all over the place. Right. <laughs> 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 all right, go ahead. So never you wrote him back, and so but now he thinks. So I go, this will never happen. I was mm -hmm. joking with you. And he writes me back that I was gay bashing, saying, oh, now uh, you're a gay basher. They get so offended if you no, say no to them. you're just a fucking top. <laughs> <laughs> you. Not a gay basher. Fucking no. top. No. Top, Ugh, motherfucker. No. And I, no. Oof. And you what? You're ready to admit it. No, That's okay. listen, if I was, if I was gay, You're married was gay, now with three kids. Deal? It doesn't matter. Go ahead. What's the big deal? Look, at, first of all, you would love that because you'd have another hour mm. but <laughs> of smashing me, but I'm not. You, you know, know what? I'm not at all gay. It's, I mean, everybody's thought mean about it. You know, once or twice. Everyone. Or, okay. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I like the, the, the... Everyone has thought about what? Sucking... The best thing gay right? guys okay. say is... Uh, is uh, oh everyone is a six pack away from being gay? Oh no no! It's like uh no, everybody has a six pack tendencies of cum. when you act on them. <laughs> <laughs> they mean the abs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know you've thought about murder, but you haven't done it, right? As far as you know, <laughs> that's what you know. Uh, so you know, so, I've never thought. I haven't thought about it since you know. I don't know. Thought about what? No, so cock since when? Probably in my, you know, I don't know, <laughs> in between uh, my first wife and second. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Write that down in the profile. Okay. Any other uh, gay guys hit on you while you're out and about? No. Yeah, I'm sure I've had some, you know. I mean, I'm not a bad looking guy. <laughs> it's a compliment. What's the difference if a guy hits on you or a girl? It's still a compliment. Somebody's calling you good looking. What's it, you know? So it makes you feel good when a gay guy hits on you? No, it makes me uncomfortable, you know. But you're like, all right, cool. I know I have it. No, I mean, you know. Why are you uncomfortable? Because you have to wipe your own pre cum off. <laughs> <laughs> His helmet gets stuck to the inside of his little boxers. <laughs> Well, he, Jordan he uh, likes me. Following the Rich <laughs> Voss way from Pittsburgh, he writes, "Here's the thing. If I had to be with a guy, his cock would have to be tailored." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, all right. Rich Voss Carolina Good. next weekend, right? Yeah. You want gay guys what? No, how, I'm how not, you, how, what do you want them to do? I'm huh? Nothing. Send you some Leave chicken wings or something backstage and that's the sign. Like what? <laughs> Let's set it up now for you. <laughs> Let's just set it up for you now. No. A certain color shirt no, in the audience. No. What do you need? What do you need from us? A handkerchief. No. <laughs> a hot dog with just a little chili on one end. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh. Come on. You've been giving us good radio. The least we could do is help you out here. No, that's... Make sure Bonnie's home. What do you need? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to have definitely no gut. I mean, if you're oh, with right. a guy without a gut. Oh, so, oh, gut. oh no right? gut. So when Voss is sucking cock, please, no gut. <laughs> no gut. Because Voss, the first cut, what else we learned? He, he likes Atlanta guys. Uh, no. Yeah. Specifically. Uh, Voss likes to look up while he's blowing someone and run his hand over the smooth abs up to their nipples. <laughs> and he takes his little fingers and he probably runs oh, their nipples. My hands don't reach his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dark hair. 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Why 5'5"? Five, five? Five, five. You gotta be smaller than me. I gotta be the man in the relationship. You want a little short midget? 5'6". Do you, do you want to be blowing... So he likes Mexicans. Mexicans. No, no Mexicans. <laughs> no, no darkies. Do you want to be blowing them? And and like have them push it in your and like your mouth puffs out with it. You go, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you're like a method. <laughs> the sound like a little, snot, <laughs> a little snot bubble with blood. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> 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 Boss, you gotta start coming in every day. Just oh, every day. Damn. We can't pay you. But we just, can't pay you. Just start coming in every day. Oh, is that good? <laughs> that uh, that <sighs> cock sucking bit is hilarious. What? You? Just now? This fucking guy from Atlanta, and I was fucking with him. And he emails you back. Fuck you, fucked him. No, he kept, but he kept emailing. Me. I go, look, pal, you know. Then he goes, oh, you're gay bash. Because I said, I'm not going to fuck you. Or, and then. How far did you take it before he goes, you told him no? <laughs> no, I just said, you know, cut or uncut. But then I, he writes, and I go, look, I'm marrying a kid. That, you know. Then he writes, I'm telling the whole gay community. Or, oh, you're really going to get on a loudspeaker? You let him on, dude. Huh? Yeah, you, you let him on. Now you're bummed that he's going to tell the, the whole gay community. He's warning them you're a cock tease. <laughs> Don't talk to that Voss. He's a pick collector. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be known as a cock. He's in the cake community. <laughs> You're like a little vixen. <laughs> so did that bother you? What? Did he email that me? That he was going to tell the whole community. No, it bothered me that there's so fucking... Anytime you reject or say anything negative, not even negative, to a gay guy, it's gay bashing. I wouldn't bash him once. I didn't say faggot or I didn't call him anything. I just said, it's not going to happen. All right. Well, why would you say cut or uncut? I go, well, I'm a comic. All right. I didn't, you know, it's just like saying bottom or top. All right. You always say that. How many times on the radio? But why would you say cut or uncut? Is that the, yeah, is that the question to ask? <laughs> right. Because I'm wondering if he, if, if you write back uh, cut or uncut and he writes back I can go to all uncut. the emails on MySpace and see, you know, follow, you know, you, you got to all of them. But why would you like even like uh, toy with a guy? Yeah. I, I, I must have gotten like. If I got one of those emails, of, I would just write emails on MySpace and stuff that I just don't answer. It, not w whether they're sexual or just like stupid questions. You just delete them. Why would you even I'm entertain? I'm lonely. I fight with these people. I. But if I you say this, you're a cow, you go cut or uncut. If there, that's a normal question. If I ask delete a guy. message, if I realize in an email exchange that there was some gay thing going on, I would just write back. Ah! <laughs> you write cut, uncut, cut, uncut. <laughs> I, I, I mean, how do you type? Ah! <laughs> a with a bunch of H's, right? <laughs> An exclamation point. I'm, uh, uh, I'm coming uh, over uh, your house, uh, Rich. Uh, I know where you live. Uh, 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 shut up. Uh, 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 uh. Sounds horrible. How much time? Four minutes. Oh. <sighs> That's funny, Rich. That's really funny. So we're going to play uh, Butcher doing the uh, E-Rock yeah. rap. <laughs> Jesus. Why are you putting your headphones on? Because everybody, everybody else did. Why did you get I, I just want to be part of the club. If everybody jumped off a bridge, would you suck a cock? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, you guys want to hear the Butcher rap? Oh, my God. Did you tell him for PC? Oh, he knows. Wait, what happened? Oh, better. What happened? I got to get the big uh, orange box today. Big orange box. It's Half-Life 2. Oh, nice. Episode 2. And Portal. And Team Fortress 2. Do you want to say what you were saying during the break? Psyched. What was I saying? About what? About the cut or uncut? Yeah, yeah. Of course you're going to... a If somebody emails you and they're hitting on you... You're gonna you're gonna toy with them a no, little, no, maybe. No, not not no. that. But what you were saying, but you know, what you would say to them, why? 
I would say when he emailed me, I go cut or uncut, or would you go bottom or top? You would just say you you like you know you got to. I'm a comic. I know the language. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you you don't have to the be language a comic of what when you're like you of know. anything, huh? The language of gay. Yeah. Not of gay, I mean, of just, you know, just... Wait, how is it... You said, I'm a comic, I know the language. What does that mean? Well, that's how you would respond. Can, like, a a truck driver know the language of the gay? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Why do you have to be a comic to know the language? I don't get it. Okay, okay, maybe that was the wrong analogy or comparison. That wasn't either. (laughs) 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 Da, ha, da, ha, 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 ha. I need the. Uh, 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 I can no, go to my Friday. space and find the whole conversation. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Uh, Anthony, Doctor Steve, checking in. I'll see you on Team Fortress tonight. Ah. Are you cut or uncut? Uh, cut. Anthony's clipped. Who's yes. not clipped here? Gotta clipped. be uh, Rich clipped. Oh, of course. I don't know. Be able to keep nice and uh, nice and tidy, clean. Clipped All and bumped. good. What? Clipped and bumped. Those little cauliflower things that grow off the side. <laughs> cauliflower. That's called warts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't want to describe anything with with cauliflower. When you're talking about your cock. <laughs> they're like ticklers, built in ticklers. What? Oh. <laughs> you got fucking warts. No, I don't. I've <laughs> got warts. No, I don't. A warning to all the gay guys out no. there. Must yeah. have warts. I don't have warts. <laughs> Just <laughs> let him suck your cock. Don't go near his. Yeah. Right. Well, no that's what you would want to do. I mean, if you were going to do it with a guy, you don't give a you. You can get a girl to do that. <laughs> you got a cock. cock looks like the fucking tiki from, <laughs> from Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dave in Tennessee, what's up, buddy? Hey, good morning, guys. Keep Rich talking. I think he's about ten minutes away from coming out. You don't need to know all this stuff to be a comic, Rich. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to know everything. As How much bored as you are you on everything. the road that you're having a cut, uncut discussion on email? Yeah, with was- somebody that you just, should just like delete the message. Out, you know, right. first of all, if you delete all your messages, Dane Cook got so big because he didn't delete his messages. Uh-huh. Okay. You got to answer your fans. Okay. You can't be prejudiced and go, well, he's gay. I'm not going to answer Clipped him. Or, or uncut. You know, so you write and you, you know, you try to get him. To, I said, he goes, when are you going to be in Atlanta? And I, you know. And he said, look at my uh, website for all my tour dates. No, I told him the date. And, 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 you know, if you're close to any of these cities, you know, I'll, I'll fly in. <laughs> yeah, fly in. <now>, I'm paying. <laughs> I'm not paying, see? All right, so at least he'll, he admits he does suck, no, suck cock. He's just not going to fly you in. i got to add this to the fucking resume. It's a profile, not a resume. I mean, profile. Thank you, Rich. I'm not trying you not trying to get a job at the Ramrod. So you're a cheap uh, cocksucker. You're not going to fly any of these guys into the city you're performing in. No. Oh. No. Fucking <laughs> cheap. All right, we're going to take a you break. You are cheap. <laughs> You've really grossed out a lot of people. I sent feedback with the cauliflower line. <laughs> You've got cauliflower bumps on the side of your penis. No. Danny, you got cauliflower bumps on the side of your penis? No. Danny has them on his liver. <laughs> <laughs> Matt? Yes. Hi. What's up, Matt? What's going on? How long have you been with us? Since June. Oh, shit. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. No way. Yeah. I have never seen you. Is that, did you go get my bagel this morning? Was that yes, you? I did. You are a fucking idiot. I said, <laughs> let me tell you how dumb you are. And I don't, listen, I said a bagel with cucumbers, right? Just It's a bagel with cream cheese. He comes back with a bagel, cream cheese, and a big box of cucumbers. Like, I didn't want, like, a fucking farm's worth of cucumbers. I wanted a couple <laughs> slices on my bagel. If you can't get a bagel right, yeah, how do you think yeah. you're going to make it in life? Think me, about it. me and Aunt are looking at each other because who gets cucumbers on a bagel? <laughs> on a bagel. <laughs> cream cheese. It is the dumbest first thing. Of, first of all, it's Canadian. And maybe if you had some Canadian knowledge... That's you would. I didn't Canadian like it. Twice, knowledge. Like, Canadian yeah. knowledge. Why don't you start slow with just Earth knowledge? <laughs> okay, <laughs> exactly. Some I basic knowledge of the planet itself. Yeah, 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 before okay. you get it's specific, fine. why don't you specific. just have knowledge listen, of breathing? Don't hey, listen. I'm the victim. <laughs> don't attack the victim. He's the one who fucked up my order. Let me. I'll, I'm going to defend him for a second. Okay. 
If you order a bagel with cream cheese and and cucumbers, cucumbers, you better fucking damn well explain that you want them sliced on the bagel. Oh, okay. How about if I ordered a bagel and lox? Would he come with a fucking salmon? He might. Cause Probably two masters like locks. that. <laughs> <laughs> bagel and master. <laughs> you just figured with all the cock you suck that he would just give you a, a, uh, a, a whole complete cucumber, cucumber to shove up your ass, you homo. <laughs> You know, have some on your bagel, save the rest for your ass. <laughs> it's the first time they'll ever stick up for a new intern because it's me they're attacking. Yeah. But yeah first you fucked of all. up. You fucked up. It's a fuck up, right? Uh, well, yeah, that was kind of a fuck no, up. No, it's not because we're in America. We don't know how how you're supposed to fucking People put cucumbers, eat cucumbers on a bagel. People eat cucumbers on a bagel and cream cheese. It's no, good no, try. It's no, uh, no. You're the first. No, Dude, I've, been, I've never heard of it. I've been on What's this planet that? 32 years. I'm looking. Uh, I'll admit to 32. I'm looking over here. I don't see one person saying, "Yeah, yeah." People are going, oh. "No, they don't." Try boss is an you. asshole. <laughs> no, you don't. See Fuck that. boss. <laughs> Fuck boss. Boss is a shithead. I wish Voss would drop dead. That's nice. Fuck Voss. That's all Voss's subconscious thoughts. <laughs> it's a. It's called a cucumber sandwich. <laughs> That's a good one, <laughs> dude. We could take phone calls. What would you? What do you like on your bagel? That wouldn't come in one. I got. Uh, no, Not you're wrong. A one. Okay, I bet you try it. You'll like it. Cucumber. All right. On uh, the what do you like on your bagel? Hey, here we go. What's your favorite thing to put out a bagel? Oh, let's go to Jason Miracle. in Jersey. Jason. Love that. Hey, boys. What's up? What's up, Jason? Oh, no, I just want to tell Rich Voss he's an ass. Thank you. I work for a bagel store. Oh, brother. Not a I, single well, person ever came and asked for cucumber. No one ever did that? Never. The guy works in a bagel store, see? No, I've is never really? seen it. I'm not even... How good is your bagel store if you're not making bagels at quarter to 11? That's what... No one's coming into your bagel store. I made them last night, smart guy. And if you really want to find out... I'm a smart guy. Comedy, you're fucking uh, making bagels. How dare you come here? Shut up. No one's ever asked for a bagel with cucumbers and cream cheese? You don't no, even... because they I don't bet, have normal-sized hands. Dude, I bet you don't even have cucumbers in the place. No, we don't. Why well, would you need them? Exactly. Uh, listen, okay, I'm sorry. I, I tried it. It was good. Okay? And that's if why the guy you know downstairs you know what? A that lot ran of people, the place didn't put the ba uh, cucumbers okay, on the bagel. Let's talk about the people that said... Satellite radio wouldn't work. Shut up, okay? Or HBO wouldn't work. Oh, Go God. fuck yourself. He's now He's comparing off. a bagel and cucumbers <laughs> to satellite radio <laughs> and cable wow. television. That's because satellite radios are more commonly found on bagels than fucking <laughs> cucumbers are. <laughs> I would sooner say, give me a fucking, give me an everything with an XM portable on it <laughs> than, I would, than I would cucumbers. Gotta stay away from these serious bagels, though, because too many calories. <laughs> yes, they're yeah. very big. Big, big radios over there. Oh, Rich. <laughs> I'm like, what? what? <laughs> How many of those? Do you, do, you, do you get those often? or Rich. They're and, good. And it, did did, you ever did have, Bonnie uh, turn you on to it? Do you Rich? ever have bagel, cream cheese, and tomato? Uh, with with lox or whatever, or oh, salmon. Oh, I mean, Rich. it's more what? common, probably. I haven't, but people, you do would eat a sandwich like that. Rich, what do you like better, a bagel or like uh, a cock? <laughs> no, like a hot dog. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> he has to cut a bagel in half just so it doesn't look like a pussy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm amazed that you actually like a food that sort of looks like a pussy. That's, yes. I get bagel sticks. Yes, you're on to me. I was doing that bit. Yes. Bagel yes, That's exactly stick. what I was doing. Well, I, the only way I was going to go with a crawler. What, what gave it away was, was tricked, What yeah. gave it away, doctor, is you picked up your pen and started writing your profile as you were asking. I, could, I couldn't wait to add to his profile. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha